Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. We're trying to make sense of this crazy Arizona real estate market. And in case you didn't get the memo, we are in a housing recession, the beginning of one. So who's going to survive this? Welcome, let's take a look at what's going on in the market and how can you survive it. We're down about 10, 11% right now from our peak in 2022, so which was about May. So interest rates doubled and uh, house prices started coming down because we reached an affordability wall. Now, last year, you'll recall that I was saying, well, we're just not gonna see houses, house prices come down until we see an, an increase in inventory. Because remember, we were looking between 4,800 and 8,000 homes on the market. And the buying activity was about 4,000 homes an average of every seven days. So that's too much pressure on pricing. By saying, well, here comes the crash, here comes the crash. Maybe, but not until we see inventory come up. So interest rates go from 3.5 to 6.5 like that. And guess what? We shot up to 20,000 homes. We started going up. You could see the numbers. You could see the Crawford Market Index start to turn down. You could see inventory start to come up. Um, I was thinking out loud that, you know, if we start blowing past 17,000, then you, you might want to list because if we get to about 17,000, that's not a problem yet. Uh, you can probably still get your house sold. But now that you're over 20,000, it's a lot tougher. And it's not so much the inventory that's out there as the fact that just buyers are sitting on their hands. So who's going to survive a market like this? Well, there we're clearly seeing a downward trend and there's a lot of prediction season going on. How long is this going to last? Uh, when things going to turn around? When are interest rates going to come back? It's going to boil down to the opposite of everything that we just went through. Are you going to see inventory start to come down? Now we are now, but that's purely seasonal just because it's coming up on Christmas. But if we start looking and we look at the Cromford Index, and I'm going to show you a couple things, then you'll know when it's either a good time to get in or looking like it's going to be a good time to get ready to sell. But for now, what we're seeing is <clears throat> the housing market leads the U.S. into recession and it's likely to pull it out with recovery arriving about the middle of next year. Now, that's an educated guess. What does this mean for homeowners? Well, for most, staying put. You've heard us say this before. The vast majority of homeowners, let's see if I can get rid of that video. The vast majority of homeowners are blessed with a fixed rate mortgage, historically low interest rates under 4%. There's little incentive to sell. In fact, that number is 64% nationally. Anybody with a fixed rate mortgage who got their mortgage before the middle of this year is in really good shape. A small percentage of homeowners, about 1 in 10, may be in trouble. They hold adjustable rate mortgages that will shortly adjust to the current rates if they haven't already. Let me touch on that for just a moment. They got approved for the higher rate, even though it adjusts. So they may or may not be in trouble. So providing they didn't go on and take on a lot of extra debt, that rate resetting shouldn't knock them out of their home. So if people overextended themselves and then the rate hike came, then yes, some of those are going to be in trouble. But how, how bad is this going to be? And he said, in the years before the Great Recession in 2008, adjustable rate mortgages made up as much as 35% of the home lending market. When prices tumbled, many borrowers owed as much as their home was worth, if not more. Well, the numbers are not like that now. It's about 1 in 10, so it's not 35%. Economists expect no such meltdown in 2023. Nearly half of the current mortgages are equity rich. The borrowers owe less than half of what their home is worth, according to ATTOM, a real estate analyst. Things could get ugly if home prices plummet, but economists don't expect that to happen in the current downturn. Now, things could always change. So what do we look for? Well, one of the things that we're lucky to have here in Arizona is the Cromford Market Index, the CMI. And it tracks supply and demand and puts it into an index. And we can go back and we can look and see historically that right about here, you could see things in 2019 started to turn up and turn up quickly. And we ended up with this huge run up in 
prices, mostly because um, supply hit the floor. So supply right here just came plummeting down, 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 down. Now supply started coming up. Now look at where we're at now today. So today our graph had a little bit of a dip here, and this was kind of a sucker's rally. Uh, came up here and then abruptly turned right about here, which was again April and May. The numbers actually started turning in April and in May when the interest rates changed. Down we come. So this has to go this way. Reverse of what's happened before. So if you can hang on for this rough ride, then you can get back up to um, seeing home prices level out. And we're starting to see that. We're starting to see that home prices have come down, but then they're just flat for now. Could we go down another 10%? We probably could. The other thing that we're seeing that's helpful for buyers right now for competitive reasons is the I buyers have just backed off. They're now called I sellers. So I think the latest numbers, let me just read them here to you. Um, they only bought 72 homes in Maricopa County. That's only 1.3% of the home. So they're, they backed way off last month. And not only did they back off, but investors have backed off. Institutional investors bought only 3% of the homes out there. So they were, remember, running about 23%. So those guys have said, we're not playing right now until the numbers turn. So like you say, who can survive? Well, buyers, you've got plenty of reason to sit on your hands if you want to. Um, you may purchase and see home prices go down another 10%. We don't know. We just have to watch the numbers. Sellers, um, if you sell now, uh, the competition isn't great. We've only got about 18,000 homes on versus about a little over 20,000 before uh, the holidays hit. So you're in a relatively okay position to sell. But just remember, there's hardly any buyer traffic out there. And so you're, you're going to have to watch the numbers closely and see if inventory starts coming down and see if the Cromford market index starts turning up. If that starts turning up and it looks like it's sustainable, um, you're going to see that before it's felt in the general market. Only people that follow the numbers like you do by, by studying real estate will know, okay, this is looking like it's getting better. The market's improving. If you wait for it to get on channel 12, it's going to be a little too late. So you'll want to see that turn up and then go, okay, let's put the house on the on the market. The other thing you can do, buyers as well, and I'm going to put the link in the description below, is start analyzing your payments. And here's a great little calculator that's by Mortgage News Daily. You can put in your mortgage amount right here. I'll get my little handy-dandy pen here, right here. But then you can do two loan scenarios, loan one and loan two. And you can play with the interest rates. You say, okay, I want to finance X amount of dollars here. So let's say we're going to finance $380,000. Okay. So it's going to give you a payment right here. Loan one, loan two. But what if rates go down to 5.2? What's that mean to me? Well, I'm going to save about $300 a month. So that tells you, well, maybe I'll wait then. But, and maybe instead of getting 380, it's only going to be 370. So you can play around with this and take a look over here. This is a really clean uh, mortgage calculator to help you think ahead because everybody's got a number in their head. I'm waiting until it gets down 20%. Um, I think mortgage rates are going to be in the fives again. And so go ahead and start crunching those numbers and say, well, let's take a look at this. What will this mean to me? And when do I think is a good entry point? Or if I'm selling, when do I think it's time to sell? So go ahead and play around with that. Take a look at all the different scenarios that are out there. Make sure you're armed with information. And watch the interest rates carefully because we are an interest rate driven housing market right now. That's the number one thing that's had an impact on affordability. Affordability is out of reach for many, many people. That has to change for the market to take off like a rocket again. The only thing that solves affordability is low interest rates. Are we going to get in the fours? Personally, I don't think so. And personally, I hope we don't. Because I don't want to see the housing market take off like a rocket again and start shoving other people off to the sidelines like we did in 21 and 22. So, or 20 and 21. So I really don't want to see us return to that. I'd like to see some normalcy. A lot of things out there are telling us things are not going to be normal in 2023. So keep watching here. 
I'll keep you up to speed. Thanks a bunch.